Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be bringing you a video on how to download all your Snapchat memories in one go. Now you probably come back from my first video. If you haven't watched that, go ahead and watch that first and then come back and play this one. So in the comments, I saw a lot of you have issues with this module error. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you how to fix this issue. Because of the new Snapchat update, there's a slightly different way of approaching this. So you probably have this file from my first video. So that's why I say go and watch that first and then come here. Extract that and you'll get three folders. We're only going to be using the JSON one. So go ahead and delete the rest of them. If you open it up, you'll see a bunch of stuff with all your data in it. What you then want to do is go ahead and download the Snapchat All Memories downloader. Download the zip file. Once again, all the links will be in the description. Make sure you have the latest version. So once you've got that, go ahead and extract that. I'm going to download everything to my desktop for convenience. Delete that folder and you can see you've got those files. Then go ahead and put the JSON folder inside the Snapchat downloader. And I'm going to rename it M just for convenience. Go ahead to the Python website and then go ahead and download Python. Download the latest one once again, just saving it to the desktop. Open Python and install the software. It's going to speed up the process. Once installed, go ahead and click close and go to the start button and type in PowerShell. What you want to do is make sure you run it as administrator by right clicking on it and doing run as administrator. And then go ahead and paste this code in. The code will be in the description and this will start installing all the libraries, including Visual Studio. Now this does take up to five minutes. For my video, I did speed it up, but be patient with it. At the end, you'll see that it says all done. Once Python has been successfully installed with the Visual Studios, go ahead and close that and then do shift right click on the M folder that we created and open with PowerShell. Once you've done that, type in npm install. Again, the code will be in the description and then hit enter. It will start unpacking all the libraries. So this was all the modules that was missing in the first tutorial. As a result of the new update, we require these modules. It should say added three packages. Now you can see inside the folder, there'll be a new folder called node modules. So it's successfully done. Then go ahead and put this code in, which is pretty much the same as last videos. However, there's a directory to the folder as well. And then it'll start downloading all the links and then all your files just as normal as we did in the first tutorial. Once that's done, I'm just gonna open up the folder for you guys to see. Now this does take some time. I have sped up the whole process for the purpose of this tutorial. As you can see, there should be a new folder within that M folder that we created called download. And that's where all your files are going to be. I'm not gonna download all of them because I've already done it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do have any further questions, feel free to put it in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you. I'd just like to thank Alyssa for reaching out to me and inspiring me to make this video to help you guys. Thanks for watching.